It's 47 now, and if you think your children are safe when they head off to school, maybe you should think again, or at least be more cautious. Joining us this morning to tell us how is Donia County Sheriff's Deputy Richard Weinblatt. Good morning, Deputy. Good morning. I thank you for having me on the program here. Thanks sure. for coming down. Why is this so important? Well, one of the things that we're trying to get out, uh, and particularly youngsters, is that the police and the sheriff's department, we're your friend. Uh, we want to have people understand that we're approachable. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're not some stoic, stone-faced people that just sit there and say just the facts ma'am and give mm -hmm. you a ticket and here you go have a good day uh, we're really a part of the community you know we live in the community mm -hmm. uh, I live in the community that I police and so I have a stake in the community I want people to interact with us and understand that we're there to help them and particularly our youngsters so how can we get our youngsters to be more safe because once they leave our parent the parents uh, hands in the morning there's a lot of time between the time they reach their teacher yeah a absolutely one of the things that we always look at is what, you know, how do youngsters let them, how do parents let youngsters know about the police? Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that most police officers hate is when you're sitting in a restaurant and you hear in the booth next door, uh, now you be good, Billy, or that policeman over there, he's going to take you to jail. <laughs> oh, that, that's like the worst message in the world. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, we want the, the kids, you know, certainly there is a discipline and a, and a a fear aspect in all of society that, that sort of keeps people in line at their jobs and and driving and whatever and it could have to do with your boss it could have to do with law enforcement but more important than that we really want kids to feel that they can approach us if they're in trouble that they can call 911 uh, that they can go up to an officer that they see in a car at a street corner you know if they see a sheriff's deputy or, or a municipal police officer they can go up and and they can say, you know, this is a problem I have, and, and we're, we're there to help. That's what we get paid for. How do you teach kids to use 911, and when is the proper time to use it? I mean, you know, how do you explain well, that to them? Well, one of the things that we tell people is, you know, we want them to call 911. What we get worried about is when parents say, don't call 911 unless it's an earthquake. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times when children should call 911, they don't. Uh, or if they call it, they'll pick up the phone, hit 911, and hang up right away. Mm -hmm. um, we want them to stay on the line as much as possible and give mm -hmm. us as much information as they can. If they can't give us, a, give us information, then the good thing is that they can at least put the phone down. Mm -hmm. uh, with these enhanced 911 systems, it'll pop up on the screen mm -hmm. where that call is coming from. We can find out the address and we can send a deputy sheriff or we can send a police officer out there uh, to investigate and follow up. At about what age would you recommend that parents, I mean, kids always have a natural curiosity about the phone, and our, on the police radios, mm -hmm. we're always yeah. hearing about 911 hang-ups, kids sure. making the crank calls. Sure. You want to avoid that. I absolutely want to avoid it, but it's the lesser of two evils. Okay. It's the sort of thing where we'd rather them do that than not when a real situation evolves, okay. uh, because that's what we're doing. So it's never too early to start letting them know about that. Uh, it's amazing, with television now, with programs like COPS and Real Story of the Highway Patrol and On Scene Emergency Response. There are so many programs mm -hmm. out there now, Rescue 911, etc. So many programs out there that kids watch. And I don't know how many times I've walked onto a scene and the kid goes, Oh, it's Pat! You know, <laughs> they, they, they're, they're aware of it and they, they'll pick up things very early on. Well, how about that, I mean, are The ways um, kids can get to know uh, their local police officers or sheriff's deputies. I mean, are there programs for that? Uh, absolutely. Uh, we, we have a junior deputy sheriff program in Donyana County. Uh, most sheriff's departments and police departments have junior deputies or junior police officer programs uh, where we have little plastic badges and we'll do a little swear-in business and everything and it, it really engenders a, a sense of responsibility mm -hmm. and, and they start to feel like they're part of this whole program of keeping them safe and keeping their friends and their families safe. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we do those sort of things. Uh, if anybody ever wants to come and see the Donyana County Sheriff's Department, they can certainly call us. I'm glad to tour them around, show them the cars, turn on the lights. Heck, it's exciting for us to yeah. turn on the lights and sirens too. You know? <laughs> it's true. So we, you know, we're, we're more than happy to do that, and uh, most law enforcement agencies are. Wonderful. Uh, good information. Deputy Weinblatt, we are out of time, but we would like to bring you back again if you don't mind making that Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll see you soon then. All right. Thank you so Thanks. much for having us. Mm -hmm. Thank you.